guys welcome to the review of proofly this is rohit from techiwork.com and this is the review of proofly it is a newly launched saas uh, which will convert your website to a conversion funnel so what it basically gives it uh, like gives uh, the live conversion track to your customers something like this for example and uh, it shows the scarcity and the urgency means uh, the timers and uh, i am like uh, i'm definitely damn sure that you have seen this kind of timers this kind of things this kind of reviews which will pop up from google facebook uh, right and this kind of uh, like a live uh, visitor to the softwares definitely in the, in the software and courses and even the e-commerce sites so it is really a damn good strategy that really works in the era of 2022 and beyond because the, uh, you can see the callback things because uh, it really converts people when they see scarcity they see urgency they see social proof uh, they see something like this it will really increase your conversions and also the uh, customer interactions for example they have also have a social follow means it will automatically give your follower like to your website visitor to follow on different kind of social media and coupons and the multiple videos they are including opt in i'm going to show you everything later on this video so well uh, with how many platform like provely works it works with shopify wordpress woocommerce wix magento and it like uh, works with any damn website you have on any platform you can like uh, it will uh, connect to any of your websites uh, it uh, like it may be on php it may be on python it may you may use uh, the click funnel thing you may use anything it will work with everywhere so on this particular review i have a link on the description of this video which will redirect you to my website where you will find all the bonuses which i am providing you for picking up proofly with my page means if you pick up proofly from one of these pages you are going to get some of the special bonuses from my side you can go on the link in the description of this video and you can find all the crazy bonuses so now guys i'm going to play a demo video for proofly Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to integrate a Provely widget notification onto your website. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on new notification. You're going to give it a name. So let's just say that uh, I want to uh, generate more signups to my webinar. So I'm gonna say webinar registration, and then I'm going to put in the domain that it's going to um, be on. So I'm just gonna put that in click create, and then it's going to send you into the wizard. So now you can see we have uh, a whole bunch of different uh, notifications. Uh, we're going to be adding more in the future. So maybe when you're watching this video, there will be actually more, but um, depending on what your goal is, uh, you're going to choose which notification you want. So if you want to have a live conversion, so when someone signs up for, um, you know, for an opt-in form or when someone purchases, you'll use the live conversion. We also have integrations with third-party rating services. So if you want to pull in those ratings and reviews um, from, from Google, from Facebook, uh, from Captera, you're able to do that. Um, we also have the ability to show the number of visitors onto, uh, on a certain page or on your website that are currently browsing. We also have a, an announcement. So if you want people to opt into uh, an ebook or anything that you want to kind of highlight, you can use our, our announcement notification. Then we also have a countdown timer. So if you have a time sensitive offer, maybe you're running a special during a holiday, you're able to highlight that. Then we have our social notification widget. So this is if you want to generate more Facebook followers or, or Twitter followers or Instagram followers or LinkedIn, um, you're able to highlight your social media properties. Then we also have coupons. So maybe you have a time sensitive coupon, you want them to be able to apply it. Um, this is great for um, you know maybe people who have come to the page a couple times, haven't converted. Um, you're able to use that coupon. Then we have our video notification. So you're able to embed a Vimeo or YouTube video right onto your widget and have it display at a certain time. 
Then we have our opt-in. So if you want to build your newsletter or your email list, you're able to use that notification. Then we also have this chat widget. So this can be a simulated chat where uh, your the goal is to capture their phone number. So maybe you're doing some, some sort of sales or you wanna follow up with them via phone, you're able to capture their phone number and be able to follow, follow up with them. Then we also have the inline notification. So this would be just pure text. You're able to embed it right into uh, your page. So maybe uh, you're trying to sell uh, hotel rooms or you have a certain number of, of vehicles on the lot that you need to sell. And you could say, you know, there are, you know, X number of, of vehicles left, right? Or there are uh, three hotel rooms left at this price. So there's lots of different ways that you can utilize Provely notifications depending on what your goals are. Uh, for this for this demo, I'm just gonna use the live conversion, which is uh, what most people use. But again, there are lots of different options. So once you've done that, we're just confirming the domain that it's gonna live on. And then we have lots of different uh, notif um, display options as well as audio options. And uh, so we're gonna run through those. So the first thing is, do I wanna show uh, the map thumbnail? Do I want to do a custom avatar? Do I want to add a custom image right here? You're able to do that. Maybe you wanna use your logo or, or an icon, you're able to do that. And then we have lots of different theme settings. So you can choose from one of our pre-built uh, pre-designed themes, uh, lots of different options to choose from. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. Then you can choose what you want your location format to be. Do I want it to be just the city? Do I want it to be the country? Do I wanna show the city and the country? Do I wanna show um, the timestamp? Uh, do I wanna display real names or not? Do I want to show an avatar or not? Then you can also add sound effects as well. So you could have different sound effects um, that just kind of give that audible uh, alert to your visitor or customer uh, to just kind of say, hey, you know, pay attention to this notification. Uh, we also have the animation effects. So you can use uh, bounce effects or flash effects. We have lots of different ones that you can choose. And then you could also uh, add some custom CSS. So if you want to have it match, you know, your branding, maybe you have a certain font or a certain type of design that you want to have this widget, you can use custom CSS uh, and you can add it right into there. Then you have your uh, your message. We can say like live webinar coming um, this Thursday, right? And then you could have your font uh, weight. You could have your font size. Uh, you can choose what font family you want, message uh, positioning, and then uh, what what text you want. So this is the text that's going to show you know recently signed up for a 14 day free trial. So I could say recently signed up for the upcoming webinar, right? And then I could change the text color if I want to as well. So let's just say I want to go with the purple. And now we're going to do the actual widget itself. So if I want to add a border, I can do that. So I could do something like this and um, I could add that. So here's my colors and maybe I want to do an orange border and I could change the radius if, if I wanted to. Um, I could add a gradient, I could add a background color, so I can change all the different elements that are on the widget notification. Now let's talk about display settings. So uh, do I want it to show up on the desktop versus a tablet versus mobile? So one thing that you may find you know kind of annoying is when you're on a mobile device, obviously the phone is much smaller than your desktop browser, and um, you know it, it can take up a lot of real estate on someone's phone. So what you may want to do is turn it off for mobile notifications um, and only have it show up on your desktop and tablet. So you have that control. And you also have the control as to where it's going to show on um, the browser itself. So do I want it bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right? You're able to do that. Then you could choose um, when should it display? So you can set a delay. So once the person lands on the page, do I want to show it five seconds, maybe 30 seconds, a minute after they have um, been on the page? Then the display frequency. So how often should it display? Should it show up every five seconds? Should it show up every 10 seconds? Um, so it'll rotate through each of the different opt-ins or, or um, whatever the goal is for that notification. Notifications per user session. So you do have the ability to limit the number of times that the notification is displaying. So you could have no limit or you can set a custom limit. So maybe I only want it to show five or 10 times and maybe after a certain number of times it may get a bit intrusive to the customer or visitor. Then you could have the date range. So um, do I want to only display opt-ins or customers uh, or leads from you know the last 30 days, the last hour? Um, and then you know, do I want it to only show up after there's a certain number of visitors? So maybe you don't want to have, you know, if there's only one person that's opted in so far, maybe you don't want it to show up. But once you have, you know, three, five, ten, 
then you can have it start to rotate through and it shows, you know, it starts to inject that scarcity and that, um, that kind of fear missing out, right? Then you have the uh, country display. So maybe you only want to, maybe you cater to only people in the US or people in Canada or, or Europe. You're able to select which countries you want to display. And then also, do I want it to display on all pages? So I could either have it display on one page, I could have it display on all pages, it's completely up to you. And then if you have upgraded to um, our agency edition, you're able to remove the branding from the widget. So it'll allow you to remove the verified or powered by Provely. Uh, so um, you can remove that as well. Now let's talk about the data source and integration. So we have a lot of different ways we can pull in data into your, your notification. So the first one, and, and probably what's used most often, is the web capture or action. So this is a little piece of script you add to your page, and we can automatically recognize when someone is filling out a form. So regardless of if you're using you know, WordPress or using maybe a plugin or using Wix or ClickFunnels or some page builder, you can add this form to your, uh, or add this script onto your page, and we're automatically gonna be able to recognize the, the, the from name, as well as the from email address, and then be able to display that um, onto your notifications. We also have um, an API. So if you want to utilize our API in some sort of custom integration, you're able to do that. And we also have webhooks. So um, we, we have some uh, limited number of webhook integrations with things like Pay Kickstart, ClickFunnels, Shopify, um, but we're adding more as we move forward. And so um, whenever a webhook is fired, it can get sent over into Provely and it'll be able to add them to the notifications. And then the last part is the embed. So you're gonna have just a simple script that you'll add to the body tag of, of your page, and this is just going to allow it to display the notification onto, um, onto your page, okay? So once I've done that, all I need to do is click Publish, and it's going to add it. Uh, let me just go ahead and click here. And it's going to add it on, um, uh, it's going to then display onto your page. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over and I'm going to add the scripts and I'll show you how it displays on the page. Okay, so for this example, I'm just going to use WordPress. I actually installed a plugin called header and footer. So it allows me to add um, JavaScript uh, into uh, a certain page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say webinar reg uh, for Provely. And this is a JavaScript code. And uh, instead of site-wide, I'm gonna actually select a specific page that I wanna add this to. So I'm going to first add in the tracking script, and then I'm going to add in the display script. So that's been copied, and now I'm going to add that. So now um, I wanna make sure that it's um, uh, after content. So this is going to add it at the bottom of the page. So these are the two pieces of script. One, so the first one is again, just um, being able to capture the user's information. And then the second one is displaying the actual notification onto the page. So I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to go over to my page. Okay. And so here's my uh, webinar opt-in page. And I'm just going to put in a name. I'm just going to put in use first name for now. And then I'm going to put in a email address. Okay. And I'm going to click on register. All right. Then it shows my, uh, my re my thank you page. And so now what I can do is go back over to Provely and I can see in the activity manager that I just had that opt-in. So it shows the app, the opt-in shows the IP address shows um, the email address and when it happened. So now when I go back over to my webinar registration page. So as you can see, uh, just here a second, there it goes. Now the pop-up is showing the notifications and it's really just that simple to add Provely to your site.